You want to start a podcast, but you don't have any clue on what to start your podcast about. Well, this video is just for you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to find the topic for your podcast. So make sure you watch until the end. It's going to be some great information. Also, before we even get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and make sure you also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos for this series, Podcasting for Beginners. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Shawnee Sanders, host of the Girl Techno Podcast. Thank you guys so much for being here. So the first step that you want to do when you are looking to start a podcast is you have to define your topics. You have to figure out what do I even want to start a podcast about? So that is the first question that you're going to ask yourself. Why do I want to start a podcast? It could be about, I don't know, maybe things that I like to talk about nonstop. It could be about trending topics on social media. It could be because you love murder mysteries so much. It could be about parenting. You know, it could be about um, anything, maybe social, anything that's economical. Whatever you are passionate about, that is probably what you want to start a podcast on. Whatever you feel yourself that you can talk about for hours, that's what you want to start your podcast on because a lot of times we start podcasts and then we don't really know what we want to talk about on that podcast it's hard to find subjects and topics and people to come on your show but when you know exactly your podcast when you know your topic and you know it well then there's nothing stopping you so the first step is take time to ask yourself why do I want to start a podcast? Do I want to do community outreach with this podcast? Do I want to recognize people in my community? Do I want to recognize entrepreneurs? Do I want to recognize small businesses? There's so many reasons and topics that can be talked about on a podcast. But you find the thing that's most passionate for you. Some people love reality TV. And so their podcast is all about reality TV. And I love reality TV, so I listen to those podcasts. And so it's really about what interests you, what excites you, and what's going to make you get up and want to record, want to book guests, and want to continue. So that's the first step. Define why you want to start a podcast. Step number two, make an inventory on what makes you unique, your passion, your skills, just your way of talking. That's what you want to do. You want to write down what things are you really good at. Could it be interviewing people? Could it be music? Could it be jokes? You know, comedy? Could it be just relating to other parents? What special skill do you have? When you think about building a brand and it's any small business, they think about what makes them unique, what makes them different. And because of that, that's why they're able to build successful brands. And the same thing goes for podcasting. If you want to have a successful podcast, you have to define what your podcast is going to be about and what skill set do you have and what passion do you possess that's going to help you get that passion, get that podcast to the next level. Your passion could be about motherhood. Your passion could be about entrepreneurship. But those are the things you want to, you definitely want to write down because you can talk about those things for hours and you know people who are mothers and who are entrepreneurs, you know what I mean, who are the parents that want to maybe come on your show and talk about some of the topics that you're going to have on your show. So step number two is take an inventory of your passion, your skills, and your experience. I didn't even get enough, I can't even talk enough about life experience. Some of the things you may have experienced in life that you can share with other people on your podcast. And that'll be an awesome way to do it. Listen, if you're like the therapist of the group and you're always out there giving the relationship advice, you're always helping friends through relationships, then that's what your podcast should be about. You should talk about relationships. You should help people get through relationships. You should bring on people who talk, who know about relationships. People who have questions about finding love or how to maintain relationships or just going through relationships, the ups and downs of it all. If that's your passion, then that's what your major skill set is. You're strong in that area, so that's what your podcast should be about. Step number three, do an external research. There are so many tools that you can use to find out what people are talking about, what people are searching for. Google Trends is a great tool to use to find out just what people are searching for. People are always asking questions about certain things, and it's always easy to use these external tools like Google Trends to help you find topics to talk about. 
So let's utilize those tools that we know that can help us find subjects and topics that we can definitely do our shows on, or just topics that we can talk about on our podcast. So like I said, for instance, if you are a podcast about, I don't know, about movie reviews, right? And you want to start your podcast, you want to find what movies are people actually talking about? What movies are people most interested in? You can do that through Google Trends. And you can type that in and it'll pull up everything that's trending that people are currently talking about now. And that is some of the subjects that you can talk about on your podcast. So I would tell you, do your external research, research your topics that you wrote down, the list of topics in terms of why you want to start your podcast. Research the list and find out what people are actually talking about under those topics. You'll be very surprised to see how many, from one topic, how many episodes that you can actually record from just one topic. It's amazing. So make sure for step number three that you do external research to help you find topics to talk about on your podcast. Step number four, you want to describe your target audience. For me, the Girl Techno Podcast, my audience is women ages 25 to 40 who are um, entrepreneurs, who are just have shared stories that they want to share and that they want to tell about their life, careers, family, and relationships. So that's kind of my target audience. So being that you already know the different, you know the reason why you want to start your podcast, you come up with some topics under your skills and your passions, you've done some research search with Google Trends or other tools out there to help you do keyword search and you can pull up some topics. Now decide if I take all that information and I know what my topic is going to be about, what my podcast is going to be about, who is going to be my target audience? Who are those people that I'm directly talking to? You want to define your target audience because you want to be able to speak to them directly in terms of what they want to hear. It is so important to have a target audience. I know a lot of us are like, hey, my podcast is for everybody. But honestly, your podcast is for a certain group of people who are interested in what you are talking about. I have a podcast for women. So my podcast is interesting to women of all colors and backgrounds right? So your podcast can be something different. Your podcast can be simply for those people who are into murder mystery, who are into crime, who are into those type of things, unsolved mysteries. That's the kind of crowd that you're, that's the kind of demographics that you're going to be targeting. And so you want to define who is going to be your target audience when you're starting your podcast or trying to find a topic for your podcast. Step number five, you want to do competitive research. You want to Google search podcasts for parents, podcasts for single parents, podcasts for dogs, podcasts for women, just to see what your competitors are doing. Now, this is not supposed to discourage you because there are tons of podcasts out there on almost every subject. And truth be told, there is going to be a podcast about the subject that you want to actually have a podcast about. But doing the competitive research really does help you, one, see what other podcasters are doing. You can take notes, see what they've done shows on, see what successful shows they have done, what topics they have done, and then you can now in turn use some of those same topics to do your podcast. So just look at the top five podcasts in your category and just see how successful they're doing. You can find those podcasts on Apple Tunes, Spotify, or Google Podcasts, um, Amazon Music, Amazon Podcasts, of course, and just look at some of those channels and just sit and look at some of the podcasts that are in your genre so you can kind of see how well they're doing. It really does help you look at your competitors so you can know exactly what you're going to do. Podcasting is a lot of fun and it is one of the most rewarding things that you're going to do. If you start your podcast, just know that you are out there with the rest of us. You are sharing your point of view, your perspective on life. You are sharing your skills, everything that you are blessed with, you are sharing it with those who are listening. So that's is what's going to make your podcast unique. So don't get discouraged just because you see podcasts out there that are similar to yours or just like yours. Just know that because of your unique perspective, your unique way of telling stories, that people are going to listen to you. You have a community of people out there that want to hear what you have to say. 
So pick up the microphone and let's start this podcast. Pick your topic. Know what you're going to talk about. Define your audience. Do your research. Look at other podcasts. It's just that simple. Podcasting can be one of the best experiences that you've ever had. So don't give up. Follow the five steps that I gave you. And um, trust me and believe me, you will find the perfect topic for your podcast. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Before you end this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to the channel so when I upload new videos to this particular series, you'll know when that happens. Hit the notification so you'll know when I upload new videos to this series. Also, listen to the Girl Take No podcast. We are available on all your streaming platforms, wherever you get your podcast from. Also, you can watch the video podcast on my YouTube channel right here. I upload new videos for my podcast every Thursday at 11 p.m. And the episode, the audio episode is available at 8 a.m. on Thursday morning. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is going to be an amazing journey for you. I can't wait to see what happens on the other side of this when you actually launch your podcast. If you're looking to start your podcast, drop a comment below. Let me know if you already come up with the name of your podcast, what it's going to be about. And if it's already out there, drop the link so I can definitely follow and download your podcast. Let's support each other. That's what we have to do. I'm Shonda Sanders. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.